Apocalypse. Hi guys, and I'm going to play a game that I got off the Play Store ages and ages back. It's called Shoppers Paradise. Uh, I haven't. I was going through all my stuff that I had um, installed ages ago and I saw this and I thought oh yeah I remember this game and I started playing it a little bit and uh, it caused me, it, it brought me a load of enjoyment. It's only like £1.86 on the Play Store but very very enjoyable and yeah so this is Shoppers Paradise. So as you can see you got a couple of maps and stuff like that and then uh, you got bonus maps and stuff and so part is pretty much how many days you've got to complete each task and we are going to start on easy on each one and just go through all of them and once we've done easy try and go through normal and then hard so easy we're doing the map one which in order to complete this we need we have six days to do it and we're gonna get our total revenue to two thousand so pretty much uh, I like to cheat a little, <laughs> uh, not 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 too badly but what I mean by that is I am going to get a pair of shoes and then I am going to sell these shoes, buy another pair of shoes and then sell them. And what happens is, when I'm selling them, I get more money for that. So, uh, let's go and do, uh, this time we're going to build a bookstore. So, these are going to the opposition, which I'm not too fussed about because I know that I'll get enough money in order to buy these things off the opposite. Uh, opposition anyway so and I am going to start this so you can either slow down your people by clicking this button which takes forever or you can click on that one and it'll bring them up so for my bookstore I know that my average sale is 60 pound well 60 dollars and for each uh, person my capacity is six um, so that, that's pretty much what's happening at the moment and I'm getting quite a little bit of money for it anyway uh, so <sighs> and that's my total revenue the green is pretty much how much I've earned and the red is how much I need to earn uh, so now that I have 3,000 in ca uh, in cash, I'm going to buy a toy store. And that's my first day dealt with. So I have five more days left of doing this. So again, I'm going to start the day because there's nothing much I can buy anyway. Now the reason why I uh, I sold my stuff was to get more money in order to buy the bookstore. The higher the money you have, the more uh, chance you get to kind of like get your revenue up quicker. Now I always start if I'm gonna uh, sell my stuff, I'm gonna start at from the back to the front because I want the people to go into my store first. Uh, my store first because if they go into their store and they've got a pretty high score high high store then all their money's gone they can't come into my store anymore so and I'm going to buy buy a jewelry thing here uh, everyone's ran out of money as you can see the reds if it's like all the red bar it means they've got no money to go into your stores anymore and I have four days left so again I'm gonna do this as you can see I'm kind of like almost okay so I'm gonna buy something else I'm gonna buy some shoes because why not 
<laughs> I'm not bothered about up you can upgrade these, but I'm not bothered about upgrading at the moment. Anyway, uh, two thousand. I'm gonna buy that. So I'm just focusing on getting as many stores as I possibly can for myself. And and my competitor has bought the last store. <laughs> uh. Now you can upgrade these uh, halfway through, but the only problem is it closes the store down and whatnot. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. Also, I'm almost finished on my um, goal anyway. With quite some quite some time actually. Uh, yeah, I would recommend this uh, this game. It's quite a nifty little game to be honest. Now, as you can see, with the circ, if it's like grey day it means my opposition is has it has the uh has the companies and if you see a, a green circle it means that i can buy those companies back off my opposition but when i do that they tend to upgrade the others and when you upgrade it you can sell it for more which means it's going to cost me more to do it i'm not going to do that i'm almost finished and as you can see, I've won because I've got a total revenue of 20,000. So I'm on map number two, uh, which is pretty much the same map. Again, I'm only starting with 2,000, so I'm going to buy a pharmacy. Uh, again, I'm, I'm doing it right at the back because I want to sell these. So pharmacy, I'm going to sell. It wants me to have 10,000 cash and 30,000 in revenue, so I'm going to sell that. Again, pharmacy, I'm going to sell that. So I'm just going to buy these pharmacies. Sell. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to be doing shoes. This time I'm going to do shoes because I know that I can buy them and I can sell them for a, uh, a lot more and I am going to buy a toy store, sell that and then I'm going to buy my um, my bookstore and that bookstore is going to be mine so okay so I'm going to do a bookstore I'm doing it at the corner because if I don't have any room in my store here they'll go they'll probably go to this ice cream bar and when they come out then there's a chance for them to come back into my store now if my store was here they'd just hit that and if I haven't got anything else as in if there's nothing over here for them to come back out and go back in there then I'm losing customers that way so uh, it's, it's it's my strategy on how to think it because I'll go in as you can see it's it's the way you can get m the most money from this so I focus on getting at the front because once they've dealt with the front they can't go into any other stores uh, so um. Okay, so I can now buy Okay, so I'm not gonna put that there. I'm gonna put the teddy here. So my toy store is going to be there That way if they can't go into my bookstore They'll go into the teddy or the ice cream and if they go into the ice cream they can come out to the teddy or the bookstore which Is awesome Uh, so I have six days in order to do this so I know that I'm gonna do it because once I get like 4,000 I'm going to buy the jewelry store I always try and buy the highest end ones if I start off with the ice cream store I won't get enough profits to buy anything that's high end 
And I know uh, with the jewelry store, I get uh, on average, I get hundred dollars from each person that comes in. And like I said, because mine are all together, they can come out of the bookstore, go into the jewelry store if there's room, or go into the toy store. They'll come out of the toy store, and I think that can. No, I don't think that can come back. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, this is this is the game. So, okay. So, what else can I buy? I can buy some shoes, and I can not buy anything else. <laughs> uh, so, as you can see, I always strategize my stuff, uh, making sure that you know making sure that I've got a lot of stuff and as you can see uh, I've just bought the thing gears now what I'll probably do is now that my money is going up I'm not gonna focus on upgrading because I know that I can do it without upgrading but I'm going to buy the most expensive one now which is the toy store so it's closed at the moment then the next thing I'm going to buy are the shoe store. Now I don't mind if they upgrade these because it's not going to cost me a lot to buy them. But I just want as much money as I possibly can. And I know the jewellery store, the toy store, the book store and the shoe stores are the most that you get uh, without buying, well, without buying the other stuff but yes as you can see I know that in one more day I'll probably get all my cash and my uh, profit up which means again so as you can see I haven't got long left till I've completed uh, these so it's just waiting now and as you can see My total revenue is going up and my cash is going up considerably <laughs> but I'm not going to spend anything in this one uh, again because uh, I'm almost completed it anyway and people are still coming into the shopping centre anyway. <laughs> And I won, as you can see. Uh, so pretty much when it says minus two, minus three, it means how many days left I had to do this in. And as you can see, I'm on map three. I'm going to do one more map three for you guys. So I'm going to go back on easy. I want to complete all these on easy first. So total revenue, I need 50,000 and no competitive stores. So again, I'm going to start with the book book stuff and I'm going to work my way at the back because I want to sell them again to my competitors when you like I says I'm going to end up with a massive amount of money anyway so it doesn't bother me uh, selling them the high end stuff uh, so book sell I'm going to do another book when I sell this one, I know that I can get a jewellery store for 4000 So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So my jewellery store is going to be there. Because I know if I pull it here, they'll go into the bookstore and then have no money left for me for the uh, jewellery store. <sighs> As you can see, my uh, profits are going up. And if you click on here, it will tell you all your information. So capacity 5, average sale 100, sales today 1,500. So... Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, alright then. 
Okay, I haven't gotten up for um, the bookstore, but no matter, no matter, I am going to buy. Okay, I can't buy it. Okay, I'm gonna buy some shoes. Or am I? I don't know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let me think about this for a sec. Okay, so I'm gonna sell the jewelry store. Yes. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that, but I'm gonna sell the jewelry store. I'm gonna put a jewelry store here, and then I've got enough for a bookstore there. So that's what I'm going to do. And then once I'm gonna play play. <clears throat> Again, it's just thinking about what strategy you have. Uh, what's going to give you the biggest profit? So as You can see I'm almost there. I'm going to uh, Going to buy a toy store when I can and that's what I've done Okay Okay, and then I am going to buy a shoe store, and yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Okay. So again, when buying stuff off your competitors, uh, when they're available, they'll have a circle. When you are able to buy the stuff, uh, buy the highest one you can possibly get so currently uh, these are on um, so I can buy the bookstores back off but I can't buy the jewelry store which at the moment I think it, it gives you a term where you can't buy it which kind of sucks but okay so okay so I'm going to buy the bookstore so again it's closing that one, it's upgrading that bookstore for, for them. Oh, come on. Okay, so again, buy the bookstore and they're upgrading that one to three stars, which I'm not bothered about that. And then I'm gonna buy this one. Okay. Uh, now I'm not going to focus on getting the, the coffee shop or the ice cream one yet. I'm just going to try and buy the highest ones first. Yeah man. There we go. Again, I've got four four days left, uh, and I still have about twenty five thousand uh, revenue. Well, twenty five thousand more for my revenue. And now, as you can see, I've got the circles. Now I can buy them stuff when I've got enough money. I'm going to buy the jewelry store first before they upgrade that to level three. <laughs> uh, oh no, no. <laughs> oh okay never mind never mind that I can't do that okay so it's now gonna cost me double what I was originally going to pay oh but no matter no matter I can do it I can do it just about I think Come on. 18,000. 18,000. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Yeah, and buy. So it's got to wait till everyone's out before upgrading to mine. So. 
And then I can focus on getting the other stuff as well. So uh, next time it should allow me to buy the coffee shop as well. Uh, but first thing first, I am going to focus on getting the book one first and then the other stuff. So I don't give you as much profit as the uh, as the others. Come on, come on, you can do it. And I'm almost there. Okay, so I can buy this. I can buy this. And I can buy the coffee shop. So I have, there's no more competitive stores. And I have 50,000 uh, with those days left so I won which means minus two uh, days left that I could have done that anyway I'm gonna leave this video here if you do like this game uh, well if you do like uh, this game then please you know uh, check it out it's called shoppers paradise uh, so yeah anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like if you've liked it and want more content anyway uh, I'll speak to you later. Cheerah.